Well, the snow already on the ground was also enough reason for many people to get ready. News 13's John Lee has more on the spending spree in advance of this major weather event. Well, as soon as the snow began falling yesterday, the rush was on to get ready. She's so excited about the snow. Far from the calm before the storm. Ready? This is the picture of beauty, especially if you're a beast. She's like, I'm not the retriever. Not a snowball's chance. This dog will focus on a silly little ball in the middle of all this white stuff. Ready? She's not just not even checking it today. Let's go grab it. Where is it? They're visiting from Atlanta, just in time for another surge of snow on our collective radar. True, but hopefully you guys are better prepared than Atlanta for the snow. <laughs> They started shopping yesterday. Since the weekend, it's been a log jam at grocery stores big and small. I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Drive safely. At Hoppy and Company, customers are shopping for basic snow preparedness staples, both the usual and the unusual suspects. And especially when it's a snowstorm is about to hit, they buy the milk, they buy the, uh, the bread, and then they start buying a lot of chocolate. So just to sit at home and just eat chocolate. Didn't see that ingredient coming, and especially not a beef jerky bar. At B.B. Barnes Garden Center, this sled takes us down another surprising path. And my wife has hers, so my dog wanted me to go out and get one for him and myself. So, so Walter Welchel of Hendersonville listened to his pooch. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. Bonzo? The humanity. Come on, Bonzo. Now, you see, we'll have to have some snow for you, but that's about how you're going to do it, okay? He excited? Let's just say we all ride out the storm differently, bracing for the worst, but hoping for the best. She loves it, as you can see. <laughs> So suddenly, the dog days of winter. Of course, all fun and games now until we find out what that massive storm actually brings. In Asheville, I'm John Lee, News 13.